Hello, hello, guys. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, we got the August 16 update patch notes. Uh, they're just really long. So there's something specific you want to know about. Just skip to the part where you see the image. And, well, let's get started. Uh, first thing is we have a new Thunder Goalkeeper. If what I'm understanding is correct, she's going to be broken as hell. Uh, the problem mainly would be her active, though. Uh, increase max life by 30%, critical resistance by 25 for 10 minutes. That's completely fine. And creates a defensive shield that is equivalent to 60% of the max life. I don't fully know what that means. Is this, does this mean self-healing? Or is it uh, a value of life becomes defense? Because that would be completely broken if you bring her life up. Who is pretty easy if you're using the right comp. So overall... We need to wait to see what this second part means, but it sounds broken. Uh, increase max life 40%, decrease incoming damage 30 I mean, this is standard. It's pretty high, but it's good. It's a goalkeeper. Uh, control of the bitter cold. Now, this is an interesting mechanic. Decrease the critical rate by 7% and the attack power by 4% of the enemies within the position when positioned in the goalkeeper position. Uh, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, it's... Not bad. The effect becomes stronger with each player that is able to move in the enemy team. So they're basically going to be counting how, how many people are not uh, are able to move in the enemy team, meaning that they're not taken out, they're not dead. I mean, overall, that means it could be multiplied by 11. So that means lowering the critical rate by 77% for one hit KO comps. Uh, I mean, that's honestly pretty damn strong. An attack power by 40%. That is very strong. And this already could be a problem. For the new uh, Wormwind Striker, since she is very crit dependent. Uh, passive free, recover the life of allies within the position by 25% first when the enemy within the position uses active passes. Uh, in a way, this is to punish you for using too many active passes. I only run one passer. This is not going to really bother me, but I do find it original how it works, and in a way, it's not self healing and it won't constantly proc. But it is an interesting mechanic. Overall, I think she sounds interesting, but might be broken. Uh, we really need to see exactly how uh, the active works and how passive 2 is going to work in actual context with stoning. Because, I mean, lowering 77% of critical rate is just ridiculously high. Not to mention that she has another 25% right here. And, you know, you can stone her on top of it. That means she would be alone over 100% critical resistance. Who's just insane when not even stoned. Uh, I mean, on top of it, if you were to put a Felix Ace on that, oh my god, that would be a nightmare. Uh, Chain-wise, the reverse chains, we have Cynthia, Linnea, but well, we don't care about Vanity. So these two are pretty damn good. I mean, Vanity is not that bad, actually. Uh, we got Bell for Friendship. That's great, as always. Uh, I don't know why Victoria hates her, but I mean, that can be helpful to us. Princess Marianne. So, you know, Wormwind has a little chance. Competition of Luca and Beta. Yeah, I mean, overall, it, it's, it's pretty obvious. These are some pretty good reverse chains. Now we'll need to wait to know hers. Uh, now we have the new super boss, Odin or Odin, I don't know how you want to pronounce this, uh, looks pretty damn cool on our kit and has a lot of interesting value. The first thing is, uh, her active is decrease the target's action speed and damage alive by 1% for every 12 seconds for 3 minutes. Uh, on top of it, if you're able to combine this in a way with Armel, that could be ridiculously powerful. Uh, I don't know how we would force the goalkeeper to hold the ball to be able to proc the stone. So that's something that people will need to figure out. But if you could combine both, that would just be insane. Then let Ceresia die in the back. I, I just see some interesting comps in COT with this. Uh, increase the attack power with an action. Recovers life by 40% first. I mean, this is honestly really good for a skill. And yeah, there's nothing I can say against it. Increase the effect of debuff type passive skill that the enemy currently in the, in the assigned position receives by 25%. Now this is an original mechanic. Uh, I don't know if passive, I don't think passive skills will count stones, uh, but if you have some uh, damage increase skills, this again could be very interesting too. It uh, depends exactly what you're running, but there is a lot of potential value, especially if you have certain players like Nabi, Serestia, Armel. I mean, you could put in the front end a lot of, of uh, life decrease skills. And when you just long shot, it could destroy them. I mean, a lot of interesting stuff can be made here too. Um, increase the damage enemy within the position received by 7.5 and decrease the max life by 20 uh, by 12.5. Five minutes of an action, I can use up to two times. Again, I see a lot of fun comps, and I really want to get her with this. A uh, reverse chain, Loki for Geralt. Okay, Beth. Oh, perfect. I'm an even advert. That could be interesting. 
Lucia, New Yan. I, I seriously, people, make easier names. Asakura Kuro, we don't really care. Fenir, also another staple when you're trying to run some funky comps. And Hamaris, yes, this sounds very interesting. I think there's a lot of potential right here for some original ideas. Uh, some new four stars. I don't see the skills anywhere, so we're just going to comment on the art. I like it. I don't like it. It looks weird. What's happening to this poor Akuma? Okay, Cow Demon Queen EE. Um, blah blah blah. Pam becoming you to kind of increase attack power by 40. That's increased by 10%. Both that's totally standard. Uh, increase critical rate and decrease in damage. Blah blah blah. Increase critical rate, critical damage, and increase incoming damage. I mean, she already kind of self healed if I remember correctly, so she didn't really need this. But I mean, it makes her more tanky. I don't think that really solves the issues in her kit. Well, she's still already really strong, so just a stat buff's worth it. Okay, it's very good though. Uh, Sav Rock Light, uh, blah blah blah. Uh, do, 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 do. increase what well, we know 5-5 five, five, the usual gig okay here's what they change increase stack power by 15 decrease the coming by 10 uh, when being attacked four times okay so they lowered it to 15 uh, attack power and action speed now this is honestly very interesting too uh, I don't think that makes him a viable player but that makes him more interesting and I mean if we don't have enough players he has more value now so not bad uh, new skins have been added so beta well it's thunder. Magnus, how many skins does this guy keep getting? I, every time I look, there's a new skin. Okay, Daisy, yeah, I like that, and I don't care. Okay, so there's going to be a discount on the skin as always. Um, now let's look at the draws. Uh, first week, Rene, Cal, Demon, Cynthia, Michael, Damien, Choi, Kirina. Well, very clearly, this is your thunder week. If you're thunder, you just draw. And, well, you know, everyone likes Cynthia because she allows us to farm faster. And, well, Thunder, get your Legends. Choi, Ardor, I wouldn't even really advise Ardor to run. I mean, Rene is pretty good. If you really want Choi, go for it. And that's pretty much all that should ever draw this week. Nothing here is really worth it. Uh, I mean, Damon is in Scout, so that also doesn't matter. Cal Demon's in Scout last time I checked. So, yeah, unless I'm making a mistake and then draw. Uh, following week, we have... Uh, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Magnus, Kurapila, Anael, Dale, Askelad, Miri. Well, this is again Thunder and Wormwind people are gonna be happy. Uh, I know I don't think Lois is a uh, classic. I don't remember her being that good though, but if you really want her, go for it. Magnus is a staple though, so if you're Rainbow or Wormwind, you might want to try get it. Especially combined with Miri and Askelad, who are great in Rainbow 2. That is also a second kind of group who should be drawing this week. So again, you're light, you're dark, it should never basically draw either of those weeks. You know, wait for those new legends. Uh, chain helper rotation. So this is going to be for two weeks, not one week like it was said earlier. Um, so from the looks of it, we get a legend, William, Yuri, Kirin, V-Bird, Butcher, Veronica, Latios, Leia, Geralt, Glimber. I got to say, there's only one like new, well, it's not even a new star, it's an old legend. Everything's like S1 in here. Okay. Uh, it's going to talk about it later. So, future improvements. Uh, Felix is a classic star. Well, I mean, that's standard. You just put a new legend. The super boss match has been added. Uh, and they're putting the light match again. The minions weren't the greatest, but I mean, it's just so we can super him a bit more. Uh, legend Spirit Stone has been added to the game. So, again, this picture has passed a lot. As you can see, they have lowered the stats. Uh, now, one thing that has still not been confirmed from what I seem to understand is if you can use the same stone to power itself up. Uh, but, as we can see, uh, there's some pretty decent stats we can be getting out of it. And I can already see uh, one of the major issues of Jin being solved right here. Recover 10% life, reduce incoming damage, stick this on his stone, and now he finally self-heals. So yeah, this is going to solve certain problems of goalkeepers who had really bad stoning. We're going to be able to solve certain problems of Beth's thanks to this. So overall, this is pretty good. But Beth's already going to be getting a buff. As I saw, some of the stones were changed. And the one that I was already advising to run on her now just got a huge buff in the way we want to run it. So let's just keep going down. The idea is you have a main stone. Everything is to be plus 15. You put four stones to sacrifice. And you're randomly going to get one of these subs. Again, until we can test it, I can't really be for sh I can't be certain, but I don't know what stops us from putting four times the same stone right here and forcing the odds. Who is my goal in life? Uh, I'll try to run one of these when the update goes up. I don't remember how much gold I have since I've been away for around a week and a half, so I'll see what I can do, guys. Uh, you craft a legend stone, free uniques, 
and 40 spirit cores. Again, we don't know exactly where those are obtained. They're telling us they're pretty much everywhere, but we got we got to wait and see it. Uh, the main property of unique string so is raised, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, and one of the random property. Can you tell us if we can use the same one? No. Uh, change to image stone will be moving. Yeah, there's some pretty cool animations though on the stones, but that's really it. Uh, you can only keep one legend spirit and can only keep a legend spirit stone and a unique spirit stone. Well, yeah, it's a unique stone. We all admit it. It's, there's no issue there. You can blah, blah, blah on the prime. That's not, never changed. You can check the legendary property in book. Please understand that we are not able to share all the legendary properties in detail in this patch note. Yeah, so I'm, I'm going to be back for that later. Uh, a spirit stone core can be added to the game. You can acquire spirit stone by collecting core points that can be acquired from selling spirit stones. Oh, th this is something that's nice to know. Uh, so you can sell stones to get cores. I like the idea of this. The amount of spirit you can acquire will reset once a month. So, you know, doing those weekly matches that are really boring, well, now we're going to need to do them to get cores. Okay, this is good to know. Now we know we get them. Uh, you can, via Scout, Season Achievement, Mileage Draw, and Dimension Shop, I, I got a question on how these work, but again, I, that has not been shown. But this right here, this is good, because you need 40, and this means five legendary stones in a month. Yeah, most people can't even afford to do one, so this should be around good enough for most people. Uh, you can evolve a Spirit Stone at any point in performing a power-up. Oh, well, they finally brought this back, and you choose to toggle it on or off was one of the biggest complaints. i I got to say, that's pretty damn great again. Um, now, let's go back to the chain helper idea. Uh, okay, uh, just blah, blah, blah has been increased by, yeah, the power-up thing is going to go faster. Now, uh, when we look at these things, they look good. Also, I love Leia. Good job putting her there, but I have her. Uh, seven star max out. Uh, we'll have set of normal players level one or so to clear chains, blah, blah, blah. Uh, one chain will be consistent of a boss, we know. Um, you need 60 crystals per chain mission for a five star, and 100 crystal per chain mission for a legendary player. Now, if I'm understanding this correctly, let's say you have a you have a player who has a chain with William, uh, that's going to cost you 100 crystals. But if you want to do a second player, who also has a chain with William, that's another 100 crystals. So that's pretty damn expensive. So you really got to actually think if it's worth doing it. I know we love Dimension Stones, and this would help us get them, but is it really worth doing it if it's 100 crystals for eight Dimension Stones? I personally would not say it is, but it's up to you guys. Uh, rotation resets every two weeks. Again, if this is part of your main team and it's blocking a chain that would have value, for example, I run a Vonshi, uh, and I'm being blocked by a Choi and a shoe. I would do it, but, you know, it, it depends what you're running. If it's a sub thing, it's not worth it. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, character change system has been improved. Yeah, I, I saw those icons. I've never got how they worked, really. Uh, you can check the reverse chain, blah, blah, blah. There's there's a website that does this really well, honestly. Uh, in called SS Shredder. It, it's pretty damn good. You can ask on the forums. We'll give you the link. Uh, auto match repeats has been added to the game. Finally, we needed this for decades. Uh, so you got to be ranked 55. That's you know, pretty standard. You can repeat the match up to 10 times. So you mean 10 times every time. Uh, number of auto repeats it might change according to your stand in your position. Well, that, that, I agree with that. Uh, mission can will be counted, but the teamworks event won't appear when you use the auto repeat function. Well, yeah, it's autoing. It's the same way as people were using point clickers for the last two years. Uh, when using a chain helper, the match auto repeat will be probably the chain helper as much as possible. Okay, I mean, I'm fine with that. Uh, you cannot play Galaxy Live friendly match with users in all servers. I thought that was pretty much already in, but I guess, I mean, that's fine. I don't agree with the fact we've got so many servers in the first place, but okay. Uh, now, one cool thing is the club system has been improved. Well, they keep saying that, but yeah, they just increase the level. Now it's 140. Uh, you can have 50 members. The minimum member required for you has been changed from 10 to 20. You can check the club points of it, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so, oh, at least the thing resets, so that's pretty cool because usually it was from the point you click, so you would, like, lose, in a way, some of it. The same way we used to have the problem uh, with the, the free drop, so that, that's, I like the fact that it's been standardized. Uh, this pretty much means that we're going to be able to max out one more building. For most people, this is going to be the gold building. Because, well, there's not really much left. And if you max out the experience field, you will be losing teammates because this will trigger everyone. It, it's a thing about the way PvP works. Anyway, uh, now this is another cool thing. Now we're going to be able to evolve people in stacks. Yeah, now I feel stupid because I was evolving all my penguins manually earlier today. So this is a cool thing. I didn't know this was coming. I like the idea. 
Uh, card zooming view has been improved. Uh, I don't see how you improved it. The UI shows the original but the card when zooming in the card will be removed. Oh, so you removed the thing with the bars. Okay, that, that's actually pretty cool. I respect that. That that we didn't ask for it, but it's good. You know, now we can take a better screenshot of Leia's skins. Uh, summer theme background. It's still summer, I, I guess. I mean, well, summer's over, basically, pretty much. Okay, uh, four elemental quest match have been added. Really, we needed those. Okay. Uh, the rank achievements have been improved. You won't be able to collect reward of previous ranked achievements. Yeah, you gotta stop improving previous rank stuff because it's really annoying to end gamers. You know, the beginning intermediate expert packs have been improved. Well, yeah, they weren't that great. So, okay. Yeah, uh, well, actually, that's actually pretty strong though. An evolve leader. Okay. I, I gotta respect that. Two, five star, ten. At that price tag, that's also pretty damn good. Unique stone pick. Yeah, yeah, this this stuff is good. We know at some point they're gonna make they're gonna allow us to buy this again, so that's pretty honest. Yeah. Uh unique pack, unique spirit stone. I don't know if this is select ticket though. Four or five star. I don't see how this is much better. This is okay. I again not seeing a big change here. I don't think it's even worth the price here. Okay, so difficulty displays of match have been improved. It's just going to look at your SR. We all know it. Um, the difficulty will be displayed compared to your ability, meaning we know we can all Shrek it. Uh, Spay will be separate from quest match tab and normal match tab. Uh, rewards, blah, 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 blah. So pretty much what they're telling you is there's two tabs. I'm, yeah, okay. I'm fine with that. Uh, match directives have been improved. Save comments and beginner guide when you lose the match has been added. No, we don't. We don't need more stuff when you lose the match. We, there's too many annoying messages. A weekend ferry match has been added. Oh, okay, that's nice. And like I said, beginner to me package purchase reset. I knew this was coming. A match idle of space time continuum have been simplified. They weren't complicated. Fortnite's video has been uploaded again in the day of the optimized process. Okay, we can check each player's data rate. Well, I mean, yeah, we could kind of guess it. If you could tell us exactly how excluding would affect it, that would be more a question we'd have. Because we want to know if excluding five star increases the chance of legendary. So maybe we'll finally know. I, I don't. I don't really know. I'm guessing not. But you know, let's let's find out. Uh, blah blah blah. You can check the real time draw rates by going to draw. Statistics. Yeah, I know you're doing this because everyone's mad at you because the rates are bad. It's yeah, I like on top of it how they have to have like a really good odd, but it's like wait a second, this these stats are not matching up here at all. Like it's zero point one off on both categories. Yeah, this is like honestly, if you're gonna show us something, show us that your system works. Come on, guys. Oh yeah, and by the way, the rates have been increased very very well. Like, I mean, come on, this is like three times. It's it's pretty good. Uh, draw rate notice button has been added to the random box within. You can check the draw rate for each box. Oh, that that's actually pretty nice. Oh, so that that's why we never got six stars. Okay, I like the fact they're giving us the rate for boxes too, because those did never feel never felt fair. Uh, okay, so basically whatever rate we would lose from the lower stars, they were given to the five star. Well, this explains why we never got anything. Uh, balancing the shot AI has been improved. No, don't balance that. We don't want that. They might be smart and stop trying to shoot me when I have a self healing goalkeeper. Uh, four major stat will no longer affect the recovery. Yeah, okay, that doesn't really matter overall. They're changing it, so it doesn't matter. Co op defense won't affect the by defense. They're changing how it works. Uh, defense will be displayed by the card detail on screen, will be displayed as 100 with the player. It's assigned in the goalkeeper position. Well, it, yeah, it has to be shot at. Uh, the co-op defense rate can go up to 50%. Well, it's around where it was. Uh, for co-op defense, has been changed. So now you got to get defense stones. We're going to have that at sub. Uh, it's basically going to be the old recovery is going to be the value. Uh, now there's a bunch of nerfs and buffs. Uh, anything that was related to recovery got changed. So, for example, Linmei, uh, increased recovery in pass effect, increased pass effect in defense. Not really a good deal. Felix, decreased incoming damage by 40, increased chance of co-op defense by 10. Uh, decreasing can increase the chance of club defense by 20 when you're not a whole lot. It's actually a buff right there. Well, I mean, he needed it. He's not the best legend. 
Uh, this feels like a nerf. Uh, max life, attack power, critical rate. She's on defense. At least give her something with survival, like critical resistance. I know we don't need it. But critical rate? Come on. I, I don't even know who this is. I'm guessing a four star. Uh, increase max life 20, recover 20. Oh, it's an active. Oh, that actually sounds pretty strong. Co-op defense on actives for the team? Damn, that I, I don't know who that is, but that might be used from now on. Uh, okay, I know who that is, but I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Increase recovery amount by flurry and decrease the inflicted damage. Increase the inflicted damage. Well, I mean, that that's honestly pretty good. I'm going to say respect for that. Okay, skill effect I've been changed. I'm going to name everything to co-op defense. So, yeah, stuff got buffed. Figure it out when the patch hits. We know stuff got buffed. The defense position bonus has been changed. Uh, previously, increase the defense and recovery by 10. Increase the defense. Leia is happy. Okay, uh, the effect of her spirit stone has been blah, blah, blah. We know that. So, yeah, recovery. Um, stone, light, increase co-op defense. Okay, yeah, increase recovery, increase defense. Yeah, well, I'm good with this. Uh, the balance of the experience zone has been modified. Mark a bond. Co-op defense trend increased by 10%. Okay, well, no one used it, so yeah, that makes sense. Endless burning matter got nerfed. We lose 3% here. We lose 2% here. But that's just because we're going to be trying to combine debuffs thanks to the new form of thing. Uh, how we call them? Legendary stones now? Yeah, so that's why. Everything that's going to be aligned, but it's going to get nerfed here. I had the storm. It loses 2%. 2% here. Silent cold, 3%. Again, they're just affecting anything that's a line buff. Now, come Icicle, it depends how you use it. It's either a buff or a nerf for you. Uh, increase the action speed by 25%. Decrease incoming damage by 20% when you're not holding the ball. Increase attack power by 40% of an attack. Now, it's increased action speed by 25 and decrease incoming damage by 20 when you're not holding the ball. So that much is pretty much the same. And then increase the attack power by 60% with a steal. Yeah, I still feel that's a nerf, but yeah. Uh, Heart of Minerva, increase the critical resistance by 15 when attacked, I can only three times, recover action bar by 20, uh, critical is 15, counter attack resistance by 10 when being attacked, recover action bar by 20, so yeah, counter attack resistance has been added to this, okay, start tier, defense, recovery, critical resistance, they've lowered defense 15%, thousand watchers, they've lowered 3% of reflex line buff, I mean it already wasn't a use stone anymore, but okay, Oh, SOB got hit hard. Uh, now you need five stacks again, except the value just keeps going down. Now it's 16% with five. Uh, and the passive egg has been lowered from 45 to 35. Uh, I don't even think it's optimal anymore to run it. But, you know, BB, people, I don't know what to say. Uh, this is what's surprisingly interesting is this uh, change to the light unique. Uh, increase the attack power by 40%, action speed by 21, holding the ball, and recover light by 15 of the damage dealt with an attack. That's been changed to increase the attack power by 40% and decrease the incoming damage by 15% when holding the ball. Um, and recover the max life by 15 of the damage dealt with an attack or when being attacked. So there's no longer the speed idea, but there's actually some DR in there. And when you take damage, you also self-heal. So if certain self-healing people uh, and some people who have issues holding the ball, this could be very interesting. This is more stone I would be seeing in midline units. Um, you know, get maybe some reflex subs in it. Could be very interesting. Uh, essence of greed, recover action part and spirit of an attack, increase the receiving passive effect, recover uh crap with an attack. Okay, well I guess I'm no longer using this one anymore. Uh Presti's clockwork, uh increase critical damage resistance and critical resistance. We all agree this made no sense. So now the critical resistance is 200 life. Depending who you're running, this is either trash or super great. If you got Presti, it's good. Most people will not be using this anymore. Uh, the active skill of attacker position has been changed. Uh, Counter-attack immunity has been added to the penetration active skills of default to the five-star attackers. A new active skill, keep the ball, has been added. The action will end immediately while having a ball. When you use a skill in addition, you got a stronger buff effect for a short period of time. That sounds kind of weird, but might be interesting. Uh, the following players have been changed to keep the ball, extreme evolution, Sage, Evrina, Lucia, Scored, Garrett, no, no one else? Okay, the cooldown time for the penetration seal active skills have been improved. Uh, well, I mean, they were too long. We all agree. Light Duke active cooldown has been changed from 8 to 6. Hell yeah, I love using that guy. Uh, accumulated penetration active cooldown time won't be changed. Uh, yeah, that, I don't see why that would be changed. 
Uh, a modification was made so that the spirit recovery 20% of a pass will also be applied to forward pass and long passes. I thought it was there. A modification was made so that effective active skill won't be accumulated to the same target. I'm not 100% clear on what that means. But we'll, we'll figure that out. Uh, Sam and Noah have been buffed. Because, you know, this is something that really mattered in this meta. Uh, I just don't... I don't get it, but you know. Uh, strong stance, counterattackers, critical resistance to receiving pass effect. Okay. Uh, here we have increased damage dealt to goalkeepers and receiving pass effect to 40%. Uh, decreased spirit stone power up cost. Oh, actually, uh, passive skills fan has been balanced, blah, blah, blah. Decreased the spring stone power up cost by 5 and combined by 10. Decreased the spirit stone power up cost by 5, combined cost by 10. And the craft cost by 10. Okay, I don't know what craft means, but I like the idea of this. I'm guessing this is to make the, the legendary stones. Overall, it's, it's pretty much the same thing. But they're saying it's craft, so meaning maybe some other buffs are not going to work on it. Okay, and then there's a bunch of bug fixes. I'm guessing there's going to be some more patch notes. Because knowing how many bugs they have, I find it weird that in this big of a patch, we have like six lines of fixes. So yeah, this is uh, overall, again, I'm going to be posting the link in the description below if you want to give it a slow read. Uh, again, we, we don't fully know if it's perfect, they had translation issues, stuff might be missing, stuff might be wrong. I mean, hell, they still even haven't fixed Alexia or Alio stuff. You know, when they fix the text, we'll start talking. Have a good day, guys, and see you tomorrow.